Hi everyone, I'm Kralis and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft. So just sit back, relax and enjoy. And also, I'm sorry, I've been out of town, so therefore no episodes. But what is this? But 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 we are we are back and we got mail. Oh behave, where have I been? Well obviously gone. So green's been added to the mail system, XB falls and Mambo has also been added. We've got I paid you a red post box. G. <laughs> I kind of figured that this would be the works of a Brit. It's very British, it's very simple, but it does the job. I'm <laughs> loving it. Now I need to encase this because now that looks meh. Not sure what, what to do, like a small post office, but it kind of needs to fit the theme as well. Oh yes, I got rid of the, the worker barrack because that was just for Tango and Ipho to get refreshments when they were working on the, on the mailbox. But that is not needed anymore. And what is this? Ice snow block packed ice blue eyes goodies? The lost ski pole. Goodies by Efo. Hey K-Man, I've been wanting to give you a gift, but I wasn't sure what to get you. So here are some goodies from my recent collection adventure. Have a wonderful day. I, I, I kind of wanted one of those, because I didn't have one of those. Ocelotto heads, polar bear, a little bit cruel, but I take this. this mm, how do you obtain these, the small ones? Because I got plenty of the big ones, but okay, I don't, don't want to plant them just in case I break it. But I'm kind of thinking, like, if I would just put that down and bone mill that, would that give me more of those guys? Okay, this is this is fantastic. Packed ice, always need that. Snow, maybe not in paradise, I guess, but it's gonna come handy anywho. Efo, thank you so, 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 so. Is he online? He is. E-man, thank you, thank you so much for the amazing goodies. There we go. I mean, that is, that is thoughtful. I'm loving that. I can't, okay, you know, I need to try out the, 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 the drip leaf. Uh, how, where do, work? no, no placement? Perfect. Done it. I mean, they, they look amazing. Can I bone mill this guy? No! I just destroyed. How would you get the small ones then? Do you share them? I should maybe ask Aoife how, how to bake the drip leaf, but now I'm embarrassed, so <laughs> I, I won't. There's one thing in Minecraft I, I strongly dislike, and that is going mining and caving for diamonds. I, I hate it. I hate it to bits. So therefore, I will check my profits and see if we have managed to obtain any diamonds. We got three. I know I saw, sold some of those guys. 20 diamonds. We managed to sell a little bit here as well, so 36. I, I, not too shabby, I guess. Uh, how about the candles? There's two of those. <laughs> I, I don't think, I don't think the candle business is gonna be very successful. That is Joel for his squid in, in his shoppy. Okay, I guess the green ones are selling. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. I mean, the grand total for two weeks is 65 diamonds. <laughs> it's, it's, well, you might be, but that is not bad. It is because everything this season is, is so expensive. <gasps> is this has Joel set up his little like temp shop or pop up shop? That is adorable. Wonder if he got those from me. Hopefully he did, because I mean, kind of kind of beekeepers unite, right? Oh yes. Not only that, there's tons of new shops all over the place. We got the neon shop over here. We got a bone truck, which Pearl maybe is amazing. And there's new shops on the horizon. So we got like a jellyfish. We've got this, I believe that is Jem's shoppy. And then we've got this Elytra shop, which has to be Jevin's because Jevin loves his, his fog effect. I think that's so cool. We also got this side business, right? That's, that's one diamond. Am I sharing the profits with XP and beef? <laughs> no. So that is a grand total of 70, 71 diamonds. That pretty much means that I can afford a sweet sneak book from Cleo and maybe a stack of golden carrots and then, then I'm all broke again. How much is the swift books, by the way? Swift sneak three, 50 diamonds. Or does that technically mean take three and pay 50? Maybe, no, maybe, 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 maybe not. 50 diamonds. I've got 71 to my name. <laughs> it's just so Hi. loud. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, there you go. You've got one as well. What are you complaining about? I got a toot. 
Hi, Pearly. You got a toot. This I got a toot. Yeah, my, mine, is, toot. mine is not as cool as yours. What <laughs> brings you to the shopping district oh. today? Well, I've heard a certain somebody has a certain farm that I'm particularly interested in, and particularly along the plant genre. <sighs> like these things. Ooh, oh, yeah, leave that there. I, I, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, no, I do have, but I don't have those, though. <laughs> I don't have those. No, no, leave it. I don't, I don't have those. Yeah, uh, but you have everything else, right? You've got a farm that does everything else, yeah? That's that's well, what I'm interested in. Would you like to make a deal, sir? Yes. Please. I, please I'm, I'm kind of happy because I, I was counting my profits <laughs> earlier and I'm not making any diamonds, Pearl. Stack well, of diamonds. No diamonds. Stack. Two weeks. I've been grinding day in and day out for 64 diamonds. 71, to, to be precise. Mm -hmm. you, you think that's no diamonds, sir? Do you want to know how much I've made? Huh? Well, more than that, I guess. Much? No. Well, I've well, made two, sir. I've made two diamonds. I need to make some shopping deals. Don't laugh at me. That's just rude. Oh, you're going to be the worst business partner. No, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> no, wow. Well, well, okay. I'll just end the deal back, right come now. Back, come back, I'm gone. Come on. No, come back. Come back. Come back. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Fine, yeah. Fine. I will make I will, I will make this deal. I don't have all the flowers, though. That's the thing. I don't have, but I do have the, all the dice, if that helps you a little bit. Because you get the permit as well, right? Yeah, that helps. I've got all the dyes and flowers, so that definitely helps. I can collect the rest. That's fine. But are you are you up for making a deal? Okay, I can supply the rest of the stuff that you don't have. You can supply the rest of the stuff that I don't have. We can make a shop, and we can make a nice kind of profitable trade, yeah? Mm, okay, I'm thinking like this. Uh, you know what? Let's mm -hmm. head over to the farm quickly. I will show where okay. it is, so we can mm -hmm. pretty much just join forces over there, okay? So... Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would use my portal, but some mail system destroyed it, so I can't use it anymore. Mm -hmm. that, that sounds like a you problem, to be honest. It's not. It's not. Oh, which way? Uh, this way, that way, this Wait. way. Okay, maybe... Are you it's are you fine. Tell me you this don't way. know where your farm is? Of course yeah. I do. I was just playing with you. This is... Ah, uh, yeah, sure this you were, mate. Way, this... That. <laughs> it's here, it's this here. Is Oh, boy, I'm going to give you a compass for your birthday. <laughs> please do. Please do. And a clock. Still one from beat You want okay? a clock? Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's bringing back old memories. <laughs> so this is the farm, right? I didn't realize you built it in the nether. This is no, crazy, that's, dude. That's, my, that's just my B-Switch shop, okay? Don't look at that, okay? Uh, that that you, other thing you, is part you, of... What now? It's over there. Oh. Can you see it? Shoo! Look at that. Oh, shoo! See? Yeah. This, this is exactly why I did not want to make one of these myself, all right? You're coming in clutch here. It's, it, 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 took, it took forever to make, okay? But, but it does work. Uh -huh. okay, just yeah, wash the wither. Just wash the wither. Right. Don't touch the wither. Whatever you do, don't touch the wither. Don't touch the wither. Don't well, touch how do I know the... not to touch it if I don't know where it is? I can't see it anyway, so... Okay, just don't touch it. Don't move near this okay. place, okay? I'm so not as moving. You see, as you... you tell me not to move. I'm not moving. No, no, you come, come on. It's, it's, it's safe over here, Pearl. Okay. It's safe over here. Don't touch the winner. <laughs> so over here, as you can see, I have all the dice. Oh, but I won't look at the be rainbow. Able... It's a rainbow. But I won't be able to produce all the all the flowers for you. So I got like the, mm -hmm. the peonies. I got the lilacs. I got the, the double poopies over here. I got the sunflowers. I got the sea pickles and such. But I don't have all the flowers. So yeah. Wait, what? Sea pickles? What yeah. You sea you pickles? Get, get, get lime dye. Just cook it and lime dye appears. Boom! Boom! Who on earth cooks pickles in Minecraft? This is a revelation. I've never seen someone use pickles for lime dye before. Green, I, yeah, but lime. I cook my pickles. It's amazing. You, you cook and the cacti. Okay. I, I cook. <laughs> Stop it, Pearl. Stop it. <laughs> what? Oh my god. And over here, okay. Come over oh here. My god. Come on. I need that Come. one. <laughs> <laughs> Jump down here, but be careful. Whatever you do, be careful. Don't touch okay. the wither. Don't mess with the wither. Quickly. Do you think he said not to touch the wither? I don't think. Don't I touch the wither. Oh, it's so very loud down here. It is. It is. It is pretty loud. It, it is so what, loud what, so what? What this guy does? One person AFK is in the Nether. The pigmen, uh -huh. zombified pigments, come in here. They got shot by the wither, and the wither roses appear in masses. Oh, uh -huh. I've never so, seen this kind of wither rose farm before, and this is really cool. I love the bubbles. Need, 
need a vibe, That's but sick. it does work, and I'm super happy it does. But don't touch the waiter, okay? Don't, don't, don't touch it. Don't, whatever you do, don't I, touch it. I think you said so, yeah. touch it. I think don't. you said touch it. I'm, I'm out of here. Hello. If you touch it, <laughs> don't, don't Okay, touch I'm it. not touching it. <laughs> so okay. no, but, but I mean, if, if one person would AFK in a wither, those guys will come up here and they're gonna die. They uh -huh. get withered away and wither roses drop down into the bubble later, go up and we have wither roses for days. So you can be selling those. Wow. But I'm, think, I'm thinking like this, you know? I'm thinking like this. Mm -hmm. what, what you dipping toes over there? Come over here. Up the ladder, I don't know, you, you go. left a puddle of water there. Okay, I'm going up the ladder. <laughs> I'm thinking like this, Pearl, that, mm -hmm. that the dyes I I can provide. I can provide. I'm a provider uh -huh. for dyes, yeah. flowers. Okay. I can't I can't bother to gather those I I don't have over here. So yeah, if you wanna... I mean I can get the hmm. rest. That's fine. I can do that. I mean, if you supply the dyes, that's a huge load off my workload. So I mean, that's okay if you can do, do it in part. I'm but I'm fine with that. I guess. So so what you thinking? Okay. Be 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 honest, because I'm. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. So hit me. Like give me, give me, give me like a number, please give me a, a number. number. A number. Well, if I'm still collecting a whole bunch of the flowers, but I don't have to worry about the dye. Yes. Um. Look, look. I, I can. I'll say let's do fifty fifty on the dyes, right? Because that's going to be a place in my shop. I'm still going to be doing some of the dyes. I can pitch up plants do mm -hmm. cyan dye, and the torch flowers do orange dye, so I can supply those. Okay, fifty fifty so... on that. But the flowers. Uh -huh. can, are you are you alright with a bit of a one thirty type of thing? Two thirds me, one third you kind of situation, you know? If you yeah. build a shop, I'm perfectly mm -hmm. fine with that. I can agree to that. Yeah. You can build the shop. Yeah, they can do that. Shake on it. So 50% on, on the dice and one third uh -huh. on the flowers. In my favor. Perfect. Yeah. Shake it. Yeah. In your favor? No, 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 no. I didn't. No taxi backsies. No taxi backsies. No taxi backsies. Watch the waiter. I'm out. No, no, I didn't shake. No, okay, I didn't okay, shake. Okay, okay, you punched. Okay, okay, I, okay. I did not yeah, shake. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do a toot. Toot. One third and 50% of the what? dice. Three, two, one. Two thirds me. Yep. Yep. Now that's a loud shake if I've ever heard one. <laughs> you get yourself a deal. Now, Dad, there's a deal I'm happy about. Because not only will I be able to work with Pearly as a business partner, but maybe this will mean I can avoid the mines. Because I, I hate mining. And hopefully that's going to be a great revenue stream. But not only that, we also have this permit over here, which is all the bushes. I've been thinking, I've been, I've been, I've been thinking, no, no. No, 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 no. Mayday, mayday. We're singing. Hello, this is the German Coast Guard. Was are you thinking about? I'm so sorry, so sorry. I have been thinking about a bush farm. Restaurant Corrales. It's such a bad combination. But so far this season, I, I've been having I've been having a blast trying to figure out how, how stuff works. And so far we have not failed. So hopefully this won't fail either. And you might be but Corrales. Where is this hole of yours? I'm not proud about the whole location, but, but hopefully we can, we can salvage this and make this look pretty. If I just do free cam, it is situated just here on this peninsula. So I'm thinking like this, like we, we can save this. Uh, on top of this, we can maybe make like a fake tree form of some type with, with custom bushes or whatnot. And over here, we can maybe even add a few of those wheat fields. I love them. But not only that, I've just noticed that a river has appeared out of nowhere. How did I miss this? Well, I've been in the hole for, for quite some time. But I guess it's either Beef or XB who did order a river from Falls. And that is something I want to do uh, I want to do as well. Not a river, but Falls has something amazing over at her place which I want to have I want to have in my lake. And that is these over here, the flowering lily pads. I think I mean it, it just adds so much. So she was streaming one day and did ask if anybody had those flowers and I was like, "Yeah, I have a few." And I was like, what are you going to use them for? And she, she's like, yeah, lily pads. I was like, that, why didn't I think about that? Because that is such a good and, and creative idea. I love them. And not only that, she also got, what you call them? Cat tails? Cat tails? Cat, I think it's cat tails, right? That's beautiful. We need to hire Falsy for the lake project. Anyhow, so what goes for the bush farm or leaf farm? I've been Googling a little bit and there's, there's, there's a few... Not for all the tree types. I guess there's like a like a cherry one, maybe like a, a zella one. 
but I want to have like one farm to rule them all. Besides mangrovey, because mangrovey is such a big and pain in the butt tree to grow. So I can just farm that by hand. That, that, that is no biggie. But let me try to explain this. So we're going to do a few modules. Everything's going to look pretty much similar. So we're going to have some redstone torches. Uh, by the way, do I have any observers? I even got observers on me. So let's grab those. One placed like a so, and one placed from this side. And a lever here. And then, okay, that works. Perfect. Let's get some redstone, connect that up, and boom. Yeah, this is, this is what I mean. This might lag the server quite a bit. But this is only going to be used for, for the bone mealing segments, which is going to be super short, so let's not worry about that. Boom, boom, bada beam, bada boom, bam, boom. And then get some dirt. And that dirt is going to be placed... Because we're going to be growing like the, the dark oak as well over here. We will have a water stream, which fills the whole whole little thing here with the bone meal. So that goes down into the dropper, which is just hidden away over here. Redstoning with Corrales on camera. It's painful? Well, maybe not. Well, it is a little bit painful. So we will do quite a few of these segments or modules. Three, four, five, six. But there will be a water stream coming out from that. I'm going to be going around here in like a minecart. And just holding down our button with the hole. And then the water stream is going to be just flushing all the leaves to this to this area. Once done, we're going to jump in here, chop down all the trees. So yeah, I guess we could maybe, maybe done it with a uh, <laughs> close up. No, but maybe done like a TNT dropper to break the trees. But now we should be fine, right? Let me do one module and let's see how this looks. I am kind of hoping that this is going to work, but we have one segment or module completed out of seven or eight. So I'm thinking like this. Okay, let's just use the jungle saplings. We click the bone mill. And that should get all the trees and bushes in. And then just do a little bit of manual labor. I guess not that painful. I mean, it's just pretty much going through this and those bushes need to be gone like a so. And that's pretty much it for all the manual labor. And then we go out here, we flip this, which is the water switch. So that flushes all the bushes and leaves all the way to here. We even got a cobblestone, it's amazing. And, and then, and then, okay. Envision this, that this is going to be much bigger. We jump into this guy, we flip the lever, and then we just go around here. I don't know. There might be better ways to do this. But as, as you know, like, I'm not a redstoner. Uh, I'm more of, of a builder guy. So, so for me, if this is going to save me a little bit of time. And I kind of want to have everything in, in house as well. And now we also will get quite a bit of the logs. So it is a little bit of a win-win scenario, because... At this stage, since this dog is just charging sand for his logs, and I don't want to be digging sand, this will help us a little bit. So that goes in, we could pretty much dead, remove those guys, we go in here, we flip that switch, the water turns off, we replant this, and over and over again. Let's just fill up that with bone meal, so that should just be feeding that out. Just from one segment, we got three stacks of bushes, and it went fairly quick. So let me do the rest of them. <laughs> and he's done it. The beautiful lag contraption is done. Will this cause lag? Of course not. Have faith. Well, maybe it will a little bit. But I'm not sure this is going to be worth the time investment it took to build it. But at least I don't have to leave the base uh, to get some bushes. I can just be going about here, round and round, like a happy camper. And the rest on in the back over here, please... Don't, don't show anybody this. No hermit needs to know, okay? Because it is fairly terrible over here. But then again, I mean, a little redstone is one thing. But if it's turned off, so let me just show you. Because if I turn this water switch, it opens up the floodgates all the way to the end. L like, like a so. We do have some water, but now this whole thing is turned off in the back. So... I, I, I don't know, okay? But we'll see if this works or not. So let's just do this. Will this be enough? Uh, oh no. But don't you fear, because we do have a little bit of jungle as well, so we can just fill that up. Perfect. So we got quite a bit of trees over here. And I will time this. Now it's been about, well, 40 seconds of planting saplings, all right? Let's flip this over here. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. We need to move that back by at least one block, this wall that is. I think we've got it. Okay, so let's turn this off. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's not terrible. It is definitely not terrible with the manual labor. And then we just need to get the whole job going all the way across here. Now in hindsight, this could have been done much nicer and much better. But as I said, I ain't a redstoner. I get the water in. All the bushes and leaves, which we just manually removed, gets flushed in. And I'm just going to be sitting in this. Flip the lever. And I guess round and round we go. Okay, that's it. We could have gotten more, as you can see. There's plenty more bushes to be had. But I'm just going to jump down here. I'm going to chop down all the trees we can. And we'll see how much this has yielded when it comes to bushes and logs. We've got about, what is that? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 stacks of spruce leaves. We had some jungle at the end, so one and a half stack of, of those. 11 spruce saplings and about, all in all six or five uh, stacks of logs nine minutes is this great i i don't know okay so new saplings have been acquired is this empty that is all empty and time starts now maybe this could can, can you plant saplings with dispensers i don't think you can can you maybe you can get them all done okay so two of the saplings did not become beautiful trees and one is because it's so close to the wall and one had an empty dispenser so yeah this might be the least efficient least efficient bush farm ever seen in this game but do i care i should maybe but i don't what i think it is i think it is a matter of finding like a good system with 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 your whole job because if you do that if you become like a professional hoe this uh, hoer, this could be like uh, super fast. So far we are four minutes in, so it's definitely better than the previous one. So get all the thing we can all the way to the end, and I guess I will call it time here. So seven minutes, no, six and a half minutes. Okay, so this time we only had the spruce trees uh, planted, right? We got almost almost uh, eighteen stacks of spruce leaves, thirteen saplings, and about well a little bit more than five stacks of logs. I take that in six and a half minutes. Well, it's not it's not like a like a like a TNT tree farm, but this is a bush farm, so it's it, it's definitely a, a big big difference. Close that off, and <sighs> yeah, it's kind of satisfying, I guess. The only thing which is not satisfying is is this up here. Oh, <sighs> okay. Oh, it's even worse now. Let me just think about this, because because we can make this pretty. But the question is how? So I've been standing here for quite some time, and I have a few rough ideas, but uh, like this face is a little bit tired with all the redstoning, so I'm a little bit unsure how to do this. But I think what we'll do, we take this path, go all the way here, bend it like Beckham, and take it through the jungle, all the way to our starter hut over there, then have another path, staircase up, going through the wheat field somewhere over here, bend it again, and maybe like, you know, all the houses we have, they have pretty much farms underneath, so maybe even have our bush house just above this, have that path going all the way here, connect it to the bridge, and then have the bridge go in a straight path all the way to the shopping district. Hmm... <laughs> And over here, I, I do want to have like some type of a tree plantation. One thing you guys suggested is, is this, okay? Take a peek. So one, two, three, and four. That would be pretty much like the ground layer. And then, no, and then, you guys been at me to get the those, so what you're going to call it, dripstone palm trees. So we could do something like this, like that. I mean, it's such, such, a, such a pretty bush already. And then, maybe, okay, don't, 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 don't judge this. We can shape this out. Because now we've got, oh, it's, it's a beauty. I mean, look at that. Maybe like, like this. 
and then we take this and do boom take this and do bada beam is that a thing uh, well well yeah hopefully it is uh, okay get this guy in here something something like this but it's not done yet okay so now we would do we're gonna demolish that get rid of this get rid of that and then from above we could do hmm let's see here so if i do a little cross like that and then we place bush here bush there bush another bush middle bush yes perfect get rid of those guys and we're done not really let's just get rid of this 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 and maybe that okay don't, don't judge this it's it's not terrible okay because i don't want to have like huge palm trees i just want to have like a tiny bit of tree plantation here and i think that i think that's a keeper that is definitely a keeper or maybe not of course it is you know what i'm gonna figure this out but i definitely need a break before that so let's meet up with xb and play a mini game here it is here it is here it is i see it yay i knew i was going the right direction okay so it is this one right it is called right shot pot pot, pot shot. shot pot shot pot shot and how does this operate you 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 done this already so you pretty much been practicing Wait, Oh. Oh wow. Craft and decorate your pot. Ooh, that's kind of cool, I guess. Wait, how do we do, how do we I'm just going to do a plain pot because Yeah. But, but, okay, but how, how how exactly does this work? Read crawl. So oh. you craft a pot yeah. and then you put this thing here, right? Yes. And then you grab you pick a block out of here it's and like then a Jeez. The way me and Cub did it is we stood here and facing each other, and then when the t when the counter starts or when it you know because you got to click the button to start it. Once it starts, you gotta oops sorry yeah. place all your stuff in the as fast as you can. Oh jeez, right okay. Click. See, see now 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 I feel that this is a huge disadvantage for me. Uh, <laughs> but 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 I will I will do this. I will place whereabouts is it here, right? So you place it over yeah. here. Okay. Press button for And I'll let you counter. pick whatever block you want, and then I'll pick something else. Well, I'm going to pick diamonds. Nah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think I'm going to go for diamonds, yeah. I'll go and with then you just... Lapis Lapulis. Lapis Lapulis. Uh, and and mm -hmm. then what? Okay, so we look at, at each other. Somebody plays. I mean, I don't button. think we have to, like, a, but that's the way we did it when he first okay. built it. So. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm... Are you I'm, ready? Uh, well, technically, no. But but yes, <laughs> I'm never ready. I'm left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> left-handed. Okay, so. Oh, I didn't it... know you could do that. What is that? How do you do that? It's a pressure plate on top. Of... That looks no cool. No way. Yeah, that looks cool. I wonder if it works like a pressure plate. That hmm. interesting. Do you have redstone? Okay. Maybe you can just try it out. Uh, right. Okay. 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 So okay. So it's pretty oh, much. Wait, how does on. it sound? The countdown thingy. Hold on. I, I don't... The, there was no countdown last time I was here. Okay. No. Oh, Dang. Or maybe if it's on the same elevation. Like, if you place it over here. It does. Oh. It... Uh -huh. It connects. Oh, yeah. No, it does light up. Okay. It does. Nice. Yeah. Interesting. Are you ready? Yeah. Pressing the button. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Oh, nice! I, I, I'm the ow, ow! I'm the bestest. <laughs> you saw that? Maybe there's. Maybe I did. Is, I don't maybe, have a very fast huh. clicker finger, so maybe this is a left-handed game. At the end of the day, uh, see, it might be. Ah, okay, or are you okay. using a macro? Which one is it? No, I'm actually clicking. <laughs> I'm actually clicking. You want the proof? A cat, <laughs> like a webcam proof? <laughs> Hand cam? Okay. All right. Sure. Are you ready? Yeah. Best of three? Yeah. Best of three. So one more win and you win. Ready? And I win everything for the rest of the season. <laughs> <laughs> ah. It hurts. 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 
I got it. My my mouse like completely. <laughs> Like, I mean, anybody else want to play? Because, I mean, easy to easy. I'm pretty much the best at this game, see? <laughs> no, like, if you, you, if you were to go again, I can go again. Like, I, I can go one more time, XP. Like, I don't want to... Okay, I'm going to be clicking with my right hand this time, okay? Just to give you a little... No, play with play with your right hand. Uh, okay, 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 okay. But you, you press the button to start. Such a cool, cool game. Uh, okay, pressing the button. Oh, okay. Clicking. That hurts so bad. Got it. Bit am, that time. am I the undefeated champion of Pop Shout? Currently, uh, yeah. I, I, I mean, you gotta go against uh, Cub. Was Cub was fast. So. Was, was he like super fast? Yeah. This yeah. is I, I love Cub and his games. He always has such such cool, cool games. Mm -hmm. but, but, but anyhow, so what did what did I win? Uh, gotta get, gotta get something. A ah, rocket? Is that all? <laughs> I, thought, one of those. I, I thought we played for diamond blocks or something, but but I guess not. That that was not discussed. Uh huh. Beforehand. It was. On the way here, it was we not. did say not at all. half a stack not of blocks, all. diamond blocks. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. <sighs> nope. Okay, want to go again <laughs> for half a stack of blocks? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Please? I'm poor. <laughs> no. I, sell, I sell candles. You get, nope. the, you get, you get the good pyramids. Come on. <laughs> Finally, something, something which I'm good at. XB, look at this face. This face. This is the face of an undefeated champion. Mm-hmm. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the time lapse. It is not done, but I did add a few palm trees and it's looking absolutely gorgeous. You can check it out in a second. But there's one place on the server which I really want to see first, and that is over here. This is Impulses and Beat Up's Cyberpunk City. And it's nighttime, it is shaders, and I gotta say, I'm loving everything about stuff like this. Like, it just makes me happy because there's so much detail gone into to, to, to a build like this and it's not even done so they're creating some type of a game and i just i just can't wait to play it just can't Whoa! <laughs> i'm a grown man i'm a grown man it's fine it's fine it's fine i'm a grown man okay i kind of want to see this daytime as well because there's a fantastic billboard with palm trees so let let's just find a bed over here no way the sewer cats from season seven. We need to create a little graffiti over here as well. <laughs> why, why is beat up so tiny? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay, let me just find a bed. I think Impulse's place is, is the closest to here, right? With a bed. So let's just sleep over here. And I haven't seen this over here. This is brand new as well. How cool is this? Like just feel the vibe. This is this is this is amazing. Okay, impulse. Uh, uh, do you got a bed somewhere about? That's like a little like bank or a ATM machine. Oh hello, are you back, Taylor Swift? Oh, it's open today. Where would impulse hide a bed? Okay, I'm I'm in love, especially the power lines. Like I've spent quite a bit of time in in like Thailand and Japan and this over here, even Malaysia. Like. 
it's just so spot on. Like it's just such a madness with the with the power lines all over the place and telephone cables going left and right. This is just those those little like details, perspectives, and how people can portray a place. Uh, uh, I love Hermitcraft. This is this this is so cool. And one cool detail which Impulse added, like he added like well not not one cool detail. This whole building is fantastic. So this is like the power station he added. But look at those. Look at that little spinny thingy. That is super creative. Just feels alive. Like the whole building is alive a little bit. I don't know. I love this. I love this so much. But we need to get out of graffiti up and running. And that's something is gonna, which is going to happen very, very soon. Hopefully. Next episode, maybe even. But yeah, perspectives. <sighs> Just loving it. And back home, well, I'm not even close to being done with this project. But we've done a lot. Blocks have been placed. So here we have, like, I wouldn't call it an orchard. It is a tree nursery for the bushes and such. And I think what I will do in between episodes is maybe... Maybe change some of the trees, rotate some of the leaves, because now it's a little bit of a same, same situation. Like, it's not bad, but might be a little bit bland, I guess. There's going to be more texture and stuff to the, to, the, to the ground added. Maybe some grass, maybe some podzol. I mean, podzol would kind of fit, right? I didn't think about that until now. But let me just do free cam, hide that away, and yeah, I like this. I still kind of want to keep the same theme going as we have throughout the whole base. And if we decide to move away somewhere about in the future, we can totally change the theme. But yeah, this is not, this is not bad. Like, a lot of blocks have been placed, but the area is transforming. I'm actually thinking maybe just doing like a tiny lake over here. And that is mainly to just close off that side of the base because the rest of the area will be the shopping district, I believe. And there's like places which I haven't figured out. Like this, for example, like it's an empty space. It's tiny space. I was like, maybe do a house over here. But then again, it's just, it's just too close to the yacht. So I don't think that's going to fit that well. So yeah, loving it. Yeah, I am loving it. And I'm also curious if this will actually save us some time. Like I've done two test runs and... Yeah, not bad. It kind of works, I guess. But then every day, if it doesn't, who cares? I don't have to leave my base to get the bushes. I can just do everything here in-house and I'd be happy. Okay, so some future plans. A lake. Maybe, a big maybe, a lake over here. And somebody said that just above the string farm, which we have over here, maybe doing like a beach volleyball court. Kind of cool idea. So yeah, why not? We also need to figure out what to have over that area. Like, I kind of want to have a tiki bar, maybe. But then again, this area would be kind of cool for a tiki bar as well. If you guys got any suggestions, please let me know. But it's coming along. It's coming along. And I, I don't know. It's just a cool vibe to this place. Uh, I don't know. It just feels like warm and, and cozy, I guess. But this will conclude today's episode. We've got, we've got a bush farm, which is semi up and running. The bush shop, hopefully, next episode. We are dipping toes. Not, not toes. Dipping our hands in the no j j just being a business partner with pearl in the dice and the flowers so that means a little bit more extra income and maybe i don't have to mind which would be a relief but ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think about this do we love it <laughs> but yeah do we love it leave some feedback in the comment section hi it is it is it is coming along and uh, i'm super pleased about this and now we have this as well we have a path going all the way here through the jungle and all the way to the starting huts. Hey, please, we need to figure out what to do with those guys as well. Maybe like a llama farm somewhere about. But yeah, I am signing off. Thank you so, so much for watching. And have a fantastic day, wherever you are.